Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you Pisces. I hope you are okay. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This is a weekly reading session for you. What can I get for Pisces, please? What is the weekly intuitive love message, ma message. <laughs> message for the Pisces friends out there, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back, for tuning in. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers for your support. Thank you. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my online store, the Scent and Manifestation Collection. It is available. The Setting Candles, Setting Manifestation Candles, it's also available. Um, we've curated this Setting Manifestation Candles under the Blue Moon. So it really is supercharged with that powerful Blue Moon last October 31st. And this is Touched by a Reiki. So it's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. So, the link to access that is down the description box below, okay? And also, Pisces, the mid-month of November 2020, Love and General Reading, it is already available. Um, to find out the link, go to the description box below because I'll put it in there, all right? And you would, if you would like to access extended reading, how your person feels about you for this week, the link is also down the description box below, okay? So this is for Pisces. What can I get for you? Let me just ground my energy. What is the energy for Pisces, please, for the... Um, for this incoming week, sorry. Um, you're the first sign that I'm doing today. And there is a new moon in Scorpio, a fellow water sign. So this is a good time to really, you know, start manifesting new projects, new love interests, new goals. This is a good time, okay? So let's start your reading. Okay. You have the Queen of Wands in upright position and the Three of Cups in upright position, Pisces, okay? I really feel like the past situation for you is that you've dated someone or you met someone in an event, in a party. This is dating. This is not yet an ex, all right? Um, Queen of Wands. You you met someone who is really magnetic. You've you met someone who's really passionate. You have a very strong desire, attraction. You fall in love with this person for some of you. Um, you keep telling your friends, your family um, about this love connection, about this love interest. They really bring the fire, the passion in you. Undeniably, you're so cheerful and happy. Whenever this person is around, they inspire you in different layers, levels of, um, they bring sunshine. They give, they make your heart, heart flutter, <laughs> skip a heartbeat, okay? That's what you feel towards your person. This is a dating situation. It's not an ex. You are, it, it's a possible that you are on and off, but what is highlighting in your past energy is that you've met someone who really um, makes you feel like there's a butterfly in your stomach. It makes you nervous. It makes you feel excited at the same time. This is how much you want this person to stay in your life. You could still be talking to this person for some of you, but I really sense like from the past, your energy, it has changed, okay? So um, your person's energy is the full card and the world card. This person really offered you a beginning in the past. You guys were taking a risk, reckless for some of you. There's a possibility that this is a third party because I'm seeing a five of swords in here. But your person, your person, your love interest, they were really into making you falling in love. Okay. Um, 
the full card it's foolish it could be younger than you it's taking a risk it's just going in with the passion without actually an agenda without a plan without stability it's all about it's all about loving now and see you later it's um it's let's enjoy now let's drink let's be merry let's sleep together let's kiss let's hug and tomorrow i don't know there's no agenda i will disappear so it's a foolish energy it's a journey without an agenda without a structure okay um next to this the full card next to the full card is the world card is in reverse so for some of you, you have a beginning, but you don't have an ending. For some of you, this person has made you feel you've breathtaking, breathless. It's you want more. Hmm. You want more of them. You want your world and their world to merge. Um, but that's not what your person wants. They're actually not sure. Remember, their energy in the past is the fool. It's taking a risk. It's using a reckless passion and not applying security. It has no intention to, to, to secure something in the future. And that's why probably in the current energy, you've got the Ten of Cups. You're not happy that you and this person weren't able to maintain the connection. It could be so extremely frustrating for you that someone so... You know, making you fall in love, really, really happy moments, and then for some reason, they disappear. For some of you, you cannot believe that there is such a human being like this who can make you fall in love head over heels and then didn't give you an outcome, didn't fulfill their promise. For some of you, they ghosted you. For some of you, they're a sweet talker. They promise you a lot of things, and then you... You know, you, you challenge them. You challenge them to upgrade. Um, you know, Queen of Wands, Three of Cups. We've been dating. We've been getting along. We've been sleeping, hugging, snogging. Um, it's been so long. What's happening now? And your person disappear, disconnected. They fly by. <laughs> they didn't give you an answer. There's no outcome with this situation you have from past to present. You're upset. And 10 and 10. 10, 10, you are unloathing them. You are trying to really disconnect, forget them. It was so beautiful. It was great. It was very passionate. So this is something that you would like to keep for life for some of you. But what can you do if your person is not really stable, secure, consistent with whatever they make you feel? They make you feel great. They make you feel unforgettable. Unforgettable... That's what you are, blah, blah, blah. So it's a Casanova. It's, it's a very passionate person. They have this wild energy for some of you. <laughs> they make your heart skip a beat. Butterfly in your stomach. It could be a childhood sweetheart like you met during your younger years and then you met up right now. You're, you're both available. You're taking the risk, that risk does not involve security and that's what happened so this is you you're not happy right now ten of wands you're trying to unload forget them disconnect them you're trying to clean clean up the the you know the love energy which you which you feel like it can never be yours like why it's so hard for you and me to be together simple as that you're emotional ten of cups in reverse you're emotionally stressed because this is your happiness and your happiness is something that you can't have or they don't want to give it to you consistently your person's energy in the current in the now is the five of swords and the magician this person will come back this person will be a part of your now and in the immediate future but there's a warning this is love overload love overboard why do i say that when they're around they're like a magician they will really shower you with a lot of passionate, you know, sweet talking. But in fact, they also wonder and explore other people for some of you. Or five of swords. This is just the way they are. They're very charming. When you disarm by their charm, they get away. Because five of swords is doing something behind your back. 
and then the magician card is an upright position so they're offering you some sort of fantasy they're they're offering you something of a they're, they're offering you something that's not real or not close to reality or they're full of words and promises but never have an action. Because swords represent thoughts but that could be a fantasy, that could be unreal, unrealistic, your magician. It is, um, you know, it's a magician, it's magic, it's um, it's fooling you like in... In, in in the past energy, you already have the full card and the magician. So this person is possibly fooling you around or they really want you to take the bait. They want something from you, but they could not stay. Once they have this charm, once they have charmed you, they disarm you and they disappear. Um, yeah, this is a person that could be a trickster, a user for some of you. But they're so good in this job that they're doing. Whoever this person is, it it's been, it's been there. <laughs> they're an expert on this. They're they're really, I'd say, a charmer. They're quick to charm people, and when they when you fall in love or when you, you know, when you are under their spell, you you know you you give your power away, and this is where they feel satisfied and they disappear. They leave you wanting for more. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. It's so hard to resist this person. Foolish and Magician card. They have a convincing power. Okay? Be very careful of that. I don't see any tangible thing that this person is promising you in the current. In the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice, you've got here the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you have so much love to give. Okay? This is your energy. You're king of cups. You're ready to love. You're willing to give your cup, your loyalty, your feelings, you know, your emotion, your full emotion and attention, your life to someone. But you are not going to give that if this person is a trickster. You've learned your lesson. In here, Pisces, you, you've learned the lesson. You are the king of cups. Your eyes is sad because your cup is ready. Your cup, you're ready to share your cup to someone that you find. Um, you found someone that really um, turns you on, inspire you in so many you know, levels in terms of living. You, you found someone you can really connect emotionally. And they can really lit the passion inside of you in your life. But you look sad, King of Cups, because you're alone. And you don't want to put an effort to give this person your cup. Because they wasted your cup. They wasted your emotions. You invested, you bet your life, you bet your, you know, your reputation for this person, but yet they use you. They didn't really fulfill the promise. Look at you. You're the king of cups. You're ready for love. Your cup is, you know, you, you, you know, you're holding your cup in here so tight and your eyes is sad and tired. You want them to change. But up until now, for some of you, the current energy, it, it's still... It's like, you know, five of sword, inconsistent, trickster. You can't trust them. You know, you love them. You try to trust them, but they betray you. They fool you. They're inconsistent. They're in and out of your life. In the immediate future, you're tired. You're the king of cups. You're tired giving your cup. You're almost empty in here. You're, you're tired. Your eyes is tired. Look at you. Your person's energy in the immediate future is that the will of fortune in the tower moment, I tell you one thing. This person will have a biggest karma. It's not a karma of... Um, they've been doing this. You could be dealing with a player. You could be dealing with someone who's expert on fooling around. On playing other people's heart. Mind you, they have a feelings for you. They build feelings right away. But they have a talent of switching, the, switching it off. Okay, they could build feelings, but then they're expert on removing the feelings right away, Remo removing that attachment to that person. This is their, I don't know, they have so much control on feelings and it's such, it's, it's an energy where it's so good at faking it for some of you. There's some reality, there's some real things that they said to you, they connected with you. There's some real feelings that they shared to you, but they're so quick to defrost. Like they're so quick to to turn from hot to cold. 
there's there's because they're they are they are a magician in the current energy they could put you know they could it's it's a person who could it's like a chameleon when they want to be like this they can be like this and then when they want to be cold they can be cold so it's a it's a selfish self-centered person who when they want love and passion and intimacy they come looking around for people who fell in love with them and then when they don't need that anymore that cuddling that emotional connection that physical intimacy they do they live by their own you know they they benefit for something from here but i tell you the wheel of fortune the tower card this person it will bite them back whatever they're doing fooling around with you know with women with men whoever this is they will get their their big comeback from the universe the universe will not pinch them the universe will slap them with a tower moment because this this will of fortune this is your person they feel like they could outsmart the universe this is them they feel like they're in control of everything i could fool around i could sleep around i could get money i could do this no there is a higher force out there looking after all of us and the energy that we give in and we give out so this is your person they're gonna have a tower moment if it's not about love i really feel like it's either help help scare or because this is a will of fortune it could be money this this person could be powerful or they have a lot of money and stability whether whatever the source of the power of this person that would be taken from them okay so this is a reading where it is pacifying you it's telling you that don't worry the universe is looking after you you don't see it but the universe will make it right for you the universe will back you up if you've been good if you you know it's 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 more of a feeling sometimes we feel like why do people betray other people and they never get something it's a feeling of um, what happened to them if there's so many bad people it, it's a feeling of um why do people go bad do bad stuff hurt other people and you know if 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 what, what's the law in there with people who hurt other people there's a law you don't see it the universe won't 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 tell you that or you won't see it happening but there is there is equality and equilibrium what you give it's a law of attraction if you hurt someone if you give hurt you get hurt if you give love you give love you get love if not with this person maybe with another soul another human being okay so don't cry now argentina <laughs> don't cry there's a new moon release this person this is not your person they have you have held this person in high regard this is a fake person they give you a feel a look that they're actually up there but they're not the universe will do something to bring this person down and to teach them a lesson that they cannot play you know they cannot play with people's heart mind and soul no 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 it's it's gonna come it's gonna bite their ass big time so this is you thank you so much for tuning and thanks for being here i hope you liked the reading if you connected please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell and the like button and write me your story if you feel like opening up with you know with if you are connecting with this one thank you guys i'll see you soon bye bye